Alright kids, I am back. This will be the last one of the night, like for certain. Um, we're going back to game music for From Here to the End. Um, yeah. And in this video, we're going to finish up plotline related stuff. And then, um, we're going to see the first, hey, uh, what's his name? Sh Shadow Statue. Then we'll see the first phase of our final boss. Okay, here we go, everybody. Quiet. It's theater time. And why am I standing on you? <laughs> I did that on purpose. <laughs> why does it say Will's father when we know his name is all? <laughs> the camel. Camels are funny. <coughs> ah, here's this again. The knights of darkness and light. They are our ancestors. Now that doesn't make any sense, but never mind that. They were Ullman's ancestors, too, and so they were also King Edward's ancestors. Like, why does it... I don't know. And who entrusted it to us? You're giving it to us? What role do you have in this? Yeah, I don't know either. And why was Edward after the Dark Knight's power, then? If he, if he knew about all this, he is a descendant of the Light Knight, so why would he even need the Dark Knight, Knight Knight's power? He is one of the knights. I'm so confused. Oh well. It's a plot hole, but it's still brilliant. I promise. Oh, okay. last scene on earth really. Neil's mother says nothing of interest at all. Neil's father is a cunt. Yeah, awesome. Seth's cool. Thank you. Neil's father says I need to talk to you. Okay. This guy's interesting. Wow. Hamlet. Uh Okay, here we go. <coughs> now we get all their power. And then, now earlier, I jokingly said that Will and Kara had sex and a blackout and stuff. Right here, yeah. They actually have sex. At least I'm gonna read it that way. Here you go. When they became one... First of all, this grammar is all fucky. But when they became one, and since... They've been borrowing from from random Western things like, you know, the Bible. Well, that's not really Western, it's Middle Eastern, but you know what I mean? And Greek. Shit, I'm getting off this topic. But anyway, they've been referencing from the Bible this whole time. This is Tower of Babel in that, becoming one, sort of, you know, the husband and wife. I'm saying that they had sex right here. So, in case anyone's wondering, Will and Kara, sex scene, a rooftop. It was great. And then mystic statues that used to be colored but are now gray are spinning in a circle around Will. Okay. There we go. Woo! And I'll go ahead and fight the first form of the comet, because it's easy. And I like easy. And then I'll leave you all on the edge of your seats see, for the second. <laughs> Fuck. And then I'll leave you all on the edge of your seats for the second part. 
Wow, this is really long. There we go. And my eBay thing just popped up. I just got a pedal, apparently. A guitar, uh, chorus pedal. This is the Firebird. It's the ultimate power of the world. Isn't that awesome? And I so need to equip Aura. Yeah, yeah, there we go. It really sucks you can only hit it one time. Like, it's so easy, but it's so tedious. It only has 20 HP, which is really nice of it. But... Come on. There we go. And we do need to get through this with decent HP, because we do not get healed before meeting Dark Gaia. This isn't Dark Gaia, uh, uh, Gaia yet. This is just a creepy face on a comet. Which makes a hell of a lot of sense. There we go. And with that, I shall leave you here. Dark Gaia next time, and then probably an entire video worth of credits, because they're long. But they're interesting. They tell a story. You better all stay for them. Grr. Okay, so next time, final boss. In the meantime... I'm Stefan Scott. Bye.